One of the main upgrades of the Mini 3 Pro compared to the Mini 2 is the availability of the three intelligent flight modes, grouped under the name Focus Track. These modes are extremely powerful, and by combining them, all sorts of cinematic movement are possible. In this video, I will show you how to make the most of Point of Interest. To access Point of Interest, we simply draw a box around our intended target. A small window will appear with the three modes of Focus Track. If we choose point of interest, a yellow flag appears and we can choose the direction of flight and the speed. After tapping on go, the aircraft will start rotating around our target in the chosen direction. For a few seconds, the software will be evaluating the target and the scene. Then the box around the target will turn into a much smaller one. At this point, we can use the two sticks of the remote controller to ascend or descend and to get closer or further away from the target, which adds a lot of power to this mode. One thing that I immediately notice is that the orbiting is much slower than in other DJI model, even when set at maximum speed. I mean, it's really, really slow, and it is a bit annoying. It is obviously possible to speed things up in post-processing, but if there are elements in motion like people, cars or waves, it will look strange. I'm sure it is a little bug that will soon be fixed by firmware update. As you can see, the procedure is extremely fast now. The technology has been moving at an incredible pace in the last few years. I still remember with some DJI drones only a few years ago, to select the target, we have to fly over it, point the camera down, and then come back for filming. Ancient history. When using point of interest, a lot of care is needed, as the Mini 3 Pro doesn't have lateral obstacle sensors. The orbiting movement should not bring the drone at exactly 90 degree angle because of the rotation. Since the front and the back sensor of the Mini 3 have a relatively wide angle of view, I decided to give it a try and see how it behaves in case of an obstacle while rotating. This is the result. This time I was lucky and the young boy only got a few bruises, nothing serious. So don't try this at home and stay well away from obstacles when using point of interest. Circling around the landmark is a very useful way to, to reveal a scene. It is especially interesting when there are several elements in different planes, thus creating a sort of parallax effect, where the different layers move slower or faster according to their distance. By using different moves, we can add a lot of interest. As an example, let's have a look at this lovely village in the east coast of Sicily on the Mediterranean Sea. A very simple way to show it is to simply advance towards it at a regular speed. There is nothing wrong with it, but this way we don't know much about the contest and the surroundings. We can modify the angle of view and once again advance toward the village, but this time showing two other villages further away with some nice base and some tiny volcanic island. Better. Now we use point of interest in the simplest way. By simply rotating anti-clockwise with the castle as a target to gradually reveal the whole scene, things get much more interesting as we add an element of surprise. We can make things more dynamic by adding some other movements with the two sticks of the remote controller to reveal the width of the bay. In this case, I'm pushing the right stick to the right to get farther away from the target and widen the view during the rotation. I'm also very slowly lowering the altitude to better position the other villages on the frame. With the Mini 3, it is possible to use the left wheel of the remote controller to apply a smooth zoom up to 20% while using point of interest. 
Let's go back to the last example. This time we start with a 200% zoom over the normal castle of the village. We then use point of interest with the same movement of the sticks as before. But this time slowly zooming out back to 100% for an even more dramatic revealing of the scene. Let's try the opposite. This time we start at 100% and then gradually zoom into the villages in the distance up to 200%. The parallax effect is even more interesting now, as by zooming in we are compressing the distance between the villages that now looks much closer to each other. Notice that the zoom of the Mini 3 is a digital one, therefore there will be a severe loss of resolution. But this is not a concern when the footage is filmed in 4K and encoded in 1080p. The same exact effect can be performed in a more flexible way by adding the zoom while post-processing. But the wheel is useful for users who do not rely on computer editing. When we use the sticks of the remote controller with point of interest, in certain cases we can pull out some moves that can be done in a similar way with Spotlight. I have done two specific videos about the two other intelligent flight modes, Spotlight and Attic Track. You will find the link at the end of this video and in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. This is a scene with excellent parallax as we have the monastery on the foreground, several villages, some slopes and the Mediterranean Sea at different distances. By using Spotlight, after setting the top of the monastery as a target, I move diagonally to maintain the camera on the target while lowering the altitude, thus revealing the different layers on the background for a really interesting effect. Let's now try the exact same move, this time using point of interest. As you can see the two moves are similar, but they also have a different flavors. You might prefer one or the other according to the situation, but the choice adds some extra creativity. I put together a playlist with all my tutorials about all the different aspects of the Mini 3 Pro. Not only the other intelligent flight modes, but also master shots, quick shots, and plenty of others. You can watch them by clicking on the link on the screen. The Mavic 2 Pro had an intelligent mode called Waypoints that was the favorite of many users. It allowed to set two or more points to perform complex cinematic moves that were not possible at the time in any other mode. Sadly, Waypoints has not been available since, but using point of interest or spotlight in combination with the two sticks of the remote controller, we are now able to replicate practically all kinds of moves. In this other example, using point of interest while pointing the camera down, with the drone almost on top of the target, we can lower the elevation with the left stick and combine two famous Hollywood moves the screwdriver and the crane for a very interesting revealing result. Like the other two modes of focus track, point of interest is able to track a subject. But in the vast majority of situations, the best tool for tracking are spotlight and active track. Point of interest can be interesting for tracking while circling at close range around someone walking at a slow pace, maybe for a music clip, or with someone talking, or for an interview. As you can see, point of interest can now be used at very close range, and at only a couple of feet from the ground, which makes it a perfect tool for these kind of situations. The ability to shoot footage and photos in vertical format is one of the biggest selling points of the Mini 3 Pro. The portrait format can now be used with point of interest and it is great news for users who are involved in social media platforms 
like Instagram, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. All we need to do is to turn the camera into vertical format before choosing our target. Click on these links to watch my videos about the other intelligent flight modes of the Mini 2. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you.